In the last two lectures, we saw about permutations and combinations. PNR denotes the number of permutations of R objects out of N objects and CNR denotes the number of combinations of R objects out of N objects. And we have seen some results about this where repetitions are allowed and where different types of arrangements are considered and so on. We also saw that how to distribute distinct and non-distinct objects into distinct cells and what is the connection between them and permutations and combinations. And today we shall look at the same thing combinations and permutations, but from a different point of view making use of a tool called generating functions. Here also we will see about combinations and permutations, but we are going to get the answers or the formula using some other method the concept of a generating function. So, what is a generating we shall generating function we shall see two types of uh, generating functions the ordinary enumerator and also the exponential enumerator. Now, from three distinct objects A, B and C, there are three ways to choose one object namely to choose either A or B or C. Let us represent these possible choices symbolically as A plus B plus C. So, if you have three objects A, B, C and you want to select one of them you can choose A or you can choose B or you can choose C that you can represent as A B C A plus B plus A or B or C. Similarly, from these three objects there are three ways to choose two objects namely you can choose either A and B or B and C or C and A and this can be represented symbolically as A B A and B B and C C and A A and B R B and C R C and A. And if you want to choose all the three objects then there is only way of doing it and that can be symbolically represented as A B C. Now, if you look at this polynomial 1 into 1 plus A X into 1 plus b x into 1 plus c x this formula formula formula. If you expand this this is equal to 1 plus a plus b plus c x a b plus b c plus c a x squared a b c x cubed and so on. Now, the coefficient of x power 1 x is x power 1 represents the number of are the possible ways of choosing one object of the coefficient of x squared is a b plus b c plus c a and that represents the num the possible ways of choosing two objects out of the three objects that is a b b c r c a. The coefficient of x cube represents the possible way of choosing all the three objects a b c that is a b c. Now, we discover that all these possible ways of selection are exhibited as the coefficients of the powers of x. Now, how do you interpret this? The factor 1 plus a x it means that for the object a 
the, there are two ways of selection. One is not to select A, that is one way of doing it and another one is to select A. So, that is represented as one means not selecting A, the other is selecting A, A x. So, it is represented like this. Now, if you look at the left hand side of that equation, previous equation, this portion, the, this is the product like this. This means that for the object A, B and C, the ways of selection are to select or not to select A, that is represented by this factor. And you can select or not select B and that is represented by this factor you can represent, uh, select or not select C and that is represented like this, right. So, together this gives you the number of ways of selecting one object or two objects or three objects out of the three objects A, B, C and that the coefficient of x power r on the right hand side gives you the possible ways of selecting r objects out of these three objects. In general, you can see that if you have a sequence A naught A 1 A 2 A R be the symbolic representation of a sequence of events or let it be simply a sequence of numbers. Then the function f x is equal to A naught mu naught x A 1 mu 1 x A 2 mu 2 x etcetera A r mu r x is called the ordinary generating function of the sequence A naught A 1 A 2 A r, where mu naught x, mu 1 x, mu 2 x, mu r x is a sequence of functions of x that are used as indicators. This is the sequence A naught A 1 A 2 A r, this is the sequence and you are using the indicator functions, this mu naught x, mu 1 x, mu 2 x are called indicator functions. Using these se sequence of functions as indicator functions, if you represent f x like this, that is called the ordinary generating function of the sequence a naught mu naught x, a 1 mu 1 x and so on. If you look back, you see here the sequence is 1 a plus b plus c a b b c c a, a b plus b c plus c a and a b c and if you use 1 x x squared x cubed etcetera as ordinary uh, as indicator function, this is the ordinary generating function. If you for example, using if you use as indicator functions 1 cos x cos 2 x etcetera as the indicator functions, then the ordinary generating function of the sequence 1 omega omega squared omega cubed etcetera is given by this expression f of x is equal to 1, plus of course here the function is 1, then omega second here you have cos x cos x, then you have omega squared third here is cos 2 x, so you have cos 2 x here and so on. So, for omega r you will have cos r of x. So, the expression is 1 plus omega cos x, omega squared cos 2 x etcetera, omega power r cos r x. This is the ordinary generating function for the sequence 1 omega omega squared etcetera using the sequence 1 cos x cos 2 x cos r x as indicator functions. Now, the indicators functions you can choose in any way, but you have to choose them in a proper manner that a particular sequence can be represented in a unique manner or one uh, expression, one expression uniquely represents one particular sequence. Two sequences should not give rise to the same expression or the function. Let us see using 1, 1 plus x, 1 minus x, 1 plus x squared, 1 minus x squared etcetera as indicator functions suppose 1 plus x power r 1 minus x power r as the indicator functions and suppose you take this sequence 3 2 6 0 0 as a sequence 
what will be the ordinary generating function? 3 into 1, 2 into 1 plus x, 6 into 1 minus x, 0 into 1 plus x squared, 0 into 1 minus x squared. That is 3 into 3 plus 2 into 1 plus x plus 6 into 1 minus x. If you simplify, this will reduce to 3 plus 2 plus 6, 11, 2x minus 6x will give you minus 4x. So, the ordinary generating function becomes equal to 11 minus 4x for this particular sequence using these as indicator functions. Now, this expression it should not represent another sequence for the same set of indicator functions. In that case, it is not advisable to use them as indicator functions. Look at this sequence 13700 and 12611 with the same set of indicator functions. What will you get? What will you get as the generating function? 1 into 1, then 3 into 1 plus x, 7 into 1 minus x, 0 into 1 plus x squared, 0 into 1 minus x squared and so on. Let us see what you will get here. 1 plus 3 into 1 plus x plus 7 into 1 minus x. This will reduce to 1 plus 3 plus 7, 11. 3 x minus 7 x will give you minus 4 x. The so, same 11 minus 4 x you are getting and it is representing this particular sequence as well as this sequence. It also represents another sequence. See, suppose you take the sequence as 1, 2, 6, 1, 1. Let us see what is the ordinary generating function for the same set of indicator functions. We have 1 into 1, 2 into 1 plus x, 6 into 1 minus x, 1 into 1 plus x squared, 1 into 1 minus x squared. If you simplify this, you realize that you get 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1 will give you 11. This x squared will cancel with this x squared and as far as the coefficient of x is concerned, you have 2 x minus 6 x which will give you minus 4 x. So, again you see that you are getting the same ordinary generating function and it is representing three sequences which is not correct. So, these functions you cannot use as indicator functions. The indicator functions should be such that for each sequence the expression you get is unique or each expression uniquely represents a sequence. Now, the easy way out is you choose 1 x x squared x cubed x power 4 x power r etcetera. That is this sequence is taken as the set of indicator functions. In that case, the coefficient of x power r gives you the value a r, the rth uh, element in the sequence which you want to represent and there is only one way of doing it. So, there is no problem. So, usually 1 x x squared x cubed etcetera they are taken as indicator functions. So, we shall restrict our consideration to only those sequences. Now, let us see how the a generating function can represent a combination. We have earlier seen 1 plus a x into 1 plus b x into 1 plus a x, how it represents the, num the way of choosing a, not choosing a, choosing b, not choosing b, choosing c, not choosing c etcetera. Now, put a is equal to b is equal to 1 in that expression, then you will get 1 plus x into 1 plus x into 1 plus x, that is 1 plus x cubed equal to 1 plus 3 x plus 3 x squared plus x cube. What is this 3? This the coefficient represents